Welcome to Chair Flying, produced by HT28. Let's get set up. First, you will need to find a space to chair fly. Choose one that is quiet and free from distractions so you can concentrate on what you are trying to commit to memory. Set up your space with an armless chair, a simulated collective, a simulated cyclic, and a printed instrument panel. The instrument panel printout is available in book issue in the helicopter simulator building at South Whiting Field. To increase the realism of your sim, make a cyclic trim stick that will help you practice trimming. Take a permanent marker and rubber band any type of pen with a click mechanism to it at a slight angle, like so. When you are making cyclic movements, trim button in, displace, stabilize, and let the trim button out. Remember, the technique is not to machine gun the trim switch, making trim effectively useless. Trim works for you. When you make your inputs with your simulated collective, you can twist your hand around the handle to simulate the twist grip. The more realism you can inject into your sim, the better you will be prepared for your evolutions in the aircraft. Let's execute some maneuvers. You can chair fly anything to increase your muscle memory and recall in the aircraft, from single maneuvers to entire events. If you have questions about the regime of an event, talk to an instructor and plan your route out. Let's try a start checklist. Force trim, on. Twist grip, closed. Fuel valve, on. Fuel pressure is in the green. Battery switch, on. Rotors, clear left, no tie downs. Clear right, no tie downs. Fire guard, set. Or, fire guard, sir, please give the fire guard the ready signal. Engine start complete. Sir, please tell me if the rotors aren't turning by 25% NG. Starting on the 12. Starter switch is on, 24 volts. TOT is less than 150, NG at 15%, introducing fuel. Thumb is on the button. Light off. Monitoring TOT. Engine oil is off the red peg. Engine oil is in the green. TOT continues to rise. First peak at 657. Transmission oil pressure off the peg. NG reaches 58%. Starter switches off. Starter took. Start took 30 seconds. Engine transmission oil pressures. Engine oil pressure is in the green. Transmission oil pressure is in the green. Position lights remain off. Battery switch remains on. GPU battery cart remove signal. Odd mute switch goes odd. Instruments check. Caution panel check. Two normal or check. Three normal. And on to pre-off pre-takeoff checks. Now let's try an EP. Power cylinder malfunction. Hydraulic boost switch off. Helicopter regain control. Airspeed adjust to most comfortable control movement level. Land as soon as possible. Warning, the hydraulic boost system will not secure if the hydraulic, yeah, hydraulic boost circuit breaker is out. Warning, in the event of a complete loss of electrical power on the TH-57 Bravo, or a failure of the essential number two bus in the TH-57 Charlie, the hydraulic system will re-energize in the malfunction mode. The pilot will be unable to override the hydraulic boost solenoid. Sir, please break out the pocket checklist to confirm. If I were simulating this EP uh, away from the OLF, I would execute my practice PE. Remember the aviate, navigate, communicate portion when setting up a, to a simulated PEL away from the OLF. Lock, talk, squawk, reaching an appropriate altitude, wave off. Normal approach. All right, approaching the abeam position. And abeam, power, set up a 500 foot, 700 foot per minute rate of descent. Pedal, right pedal to center the ball. Pause, check that we're in a 500 to 700 foot per minute 
Make a descent. Trim. Pedals as required to center the ball. Turn. Clear left or clear right and begin a descending, decelerating turn towards our 90 degree position. As we turn, I'll pick out my 90 degree position, a spot over the ground. Attempt to arrive there at 300 feet AGL at 60 knots. Continue my turn to final to arrive with a 800 to 600 feet straightaway and cross over that point at 150 to 200 feet AGL with 50 knots. Continue to decelerate to arrive over my spot with zero knots ground speed and a five foot skid height. Arriving at that spot and steady, smoothly lower the collective, eliminate drift with cyclic and control my heading with pedals. Touching down, smoothly lower the collective full down and neutralize the controls. Retrim. Maneuver complete. Finally, the best way to chair fly is to practice with a fellow student or friend. A non-flight student will be less familiar with your desired results and nomenclature, so you might spend a little bit more time explaining things to them. Chair flying is the place to make mistakes and hone your technique until you're ready to get it right in the aircraft. With any questions about chair flying, come see your friendly instructor pilots at HT28. Good luck and remember to have fun.